my father, for instance, he told me he told me uh, uh, about how he wrote uh, the last days of Immanuel Kant. Mm. He said that uh, he every day he was just thinking out the story in his head, mm. and he was I guess he was sort of having dialogues in his head and and thinking about the whole thing th- uh, through mm. for for months I think perhaps years mm. at least for months and mm. then. And then the writing, uh, when it was fi- when it was finished in his head, he wrote it in in one or two months. Yeah. So that's also an approach oh, where you can have the where you can have the the um, the board uh, As in your to. head. Yeah, yeah. 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 The, 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 with all the all the little post-it notes. Yeah, it's I, all here. I, I, that was so. Yeah, speaking of of uh, uh, in the conversation I had with Helena Cook about be, about liberating things that liberate you, when you read uh, read about that, and it's like this is how you can actually structure it, and it's like that is just so amazingly liberating in the true sense of the term, liberating you to to actually focus your for your energy on creating and crafting the story. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, well, you can always. I think that's what Save the Cat is uh, uh, useful for, is to always uh, double check. I mean, if, yeah. if you're writing a story, yeah. you can, but, but you also can double and triple check with Save the Cat uh, and perhaps find out why things are not working. He has a, he has a whole list of great tips, yeah. you know. Um, but I mean, your father sort of worked like that at least before. When you have this uh, 80s, I guess early 90s, um, well, I guess half size finished charcoal drawings of the whole composition, really thoroughly worked through, and then he makes made the the painting version of it. So mm. it really studied everything was in the exact place. Um, but, but but what's this whole thing about? I mean, speaking of having everything in specific places, he talks about that beat sheet. Mm. And I think that when you read that, if you think as a painter, how can I can I learn something from that? That's when you really can think, well, oh my God, this is all those rules I have to follow. I mean, this is a prison. I have to be free and blah blah blah. You know, <laughs> yeah. But I have um, I have actually uh, I have uh, talked with some painters and also some filmmakers who were who had some problems with uh, the whole idea that you can just structure everything. Yeah. I remember uh, Bruno uh, Passos, uh, the painter. Mm. He did not like uh, he did not like it when I started talking about the structure of movies. Uh, uh, it was uh, shortly after I had read uh, Save the Cat for the first time, and I was mm. very enthusiastic. Mm. And and I was analyzing uh, a lot of movies according to his beat sheet, and and Bruno just no, I don't I, I don't want to hear this. <laughs> You know, it, 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 for him, it was it ruined uh, really the whole experience yep. of watching a movie. But uh, I, I said to him, I think it's t- totally the opposite. It makes yeah. it way more interesting. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like uh, Blake Snyder says, uh, now you can finally look look behind the watch and see all the beautiful gears in the Swiss clock. Yeah. And this is what my my uh, at my father's uh, uh, table in the living room. He has he has the backside of a Swiss clock from the early 1800s that he just enj- uh, loves to uh, look at. Right. He's not interested in the front, but the, <laughs> how how the whole thing works behind there—it's so beautiful. Yeah, the whole thing, and you can say the same thing about movies. But uh, I mean, he is so. Ex- you have to explain that. Like, how can he be so? Precise. I don't. You remember this better than I do. I think. Like at that m- minute mark, this has to happen. At that minute, mm. minute mark, that has to happen. Like, what are the uh, like, like the most important things that has has to happen in a movie or in a story? Yeah, he he talks about. Uh, he uses the hundred and ten minute or at least hundred and ten pages script yeah. uh, as a basis for for these. Um, where things are supposed to happen. Uh, so he says one he, page per minute. Yeah, approximately. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he says that you know, if if your script is uh, twice the length, or or maybe, you know, maybe it's a two-hour uh, feature, then then you just stretch. It's the proportions. Many of these, yeah, but but. Uh, <clears throat> 
But he, uh, one of the most important things is, of course, uh, the catalyst that happens on page 12. <laughs> like 12 minutes out in the movie you know it can it can yeah. vary from like 9 to 15 minutes yeah. 15 minutes then you're really uh you're really stretching the the patience of the audience mm. um but it happens around there and it, it's almost always true and you know um, because then you've gotten to know the family or the whatever and then something happens yeah you 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 set the theme yeah. and and then you have, fine perfect world yeah and then bang yeah. Uh, 12 yeah. minutes something happens yeah. that will 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 uh, be the 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 problem that you, they will have to solve the main characters mm. Uh, mm. at the end mm. of the story um, but speaking of uh, uh, of uh, the Bruno Passos uh, I also I also uh, I was on the film project in Sweden uh, uh, I was uh, I was a cameraman there, and uh, Ode was uh, uh, the sound guy. And uh, I read the script before we started, uh, at least the first 20 pages, I think. And uh, there it was. On 12 minutes, the catalyst <laughs> happened. And, and, and I, I said to this woman, it, it, was, it was a really good script, and it's an it's a entertaining movie. Uh, of course, it's... It was a indie project, so not, not very known, but uh, it's very well written, very entertaining. It's an institutionalized uh, kind of movie. Uh, but I, I, I um, one of the first days of filming, I, I, I told her the director, and uh, she was also the scriptwriter. I told her that uh, uh, it's so great to see that you're following the the beat sheet of Blake Snyder, you know, <laughs> and. Uh, and she was kind of, uh, you know, what are you talking about? And 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 uh, she was a bit, uh, she was a bit uh, skeptical. And then and then uh, I think a week later or something, I saw that they have updated their website for the movie, and th now it said we are we have not been following any, uh, you know, any uh, kind of um, uh, system or structure. Uh, we, this, this this is something we created from our own or that I created from, uh -huh. from my own imagination and so on and it doesn't follow Blake Snyder's uh, Save the Cat or any any other how to write a good movie book like that <laughs> they had um, the, the whole co whole concept of originality is is, in, is infecting or has affected a lot of the movie in, in, industry as well yeah, but still uh, they, they can write a good movie because mm. the standards mm. are but, still there. But I mean, these things that has to happen, like, like a couple of few things that have to happen at one specific mark, like the most important things. Because there's a, I remember you and I that were talking about all the time when we, d we were filming um, uh, uh, The Hunt of Odin mm. uh, All is Lost. Yeah, and I heard that like countless times. I hadn't yeah. read aside, what the hell is going on? Like, but that has to be at what mark? Well, uh, 75 uh, minutes. <laughs> it's so yes. fantastic. It's like exactly on the mark. Yeah, yeah. You have, you have. Uh, but but, but what, actually, what is that? Well, that's the that's the lowest point for the hero. You know, he's at okay. the rock bottom. Uh -huh. So uh, and we, we we actually used that in in the hunt. I remember we we talked about we had to we had to find a solution for the last episode. Yeah. And the last episode has many of the uh, men follows many of the beat sheets like. Uh, it has the it has the um, it has the antithesis. It has the bad guys close in. It has the all this lost moment. It has the dark night of the soul where mm. you don't know where, <laughs> what to do next. You know you're yeah, alone. It's a horrible uh, situation. Yeah, yeah alone in Athens. <laughs> and and uh, of course the the resolution. Mm. But, yeah. Uh, so so but well to uh, to go briefly through it, you have the catalyst on on twelve minutes, and then it's debate the debate section. Where the hero wonders if he's going to go, go on this journey or not. Yeah. You, usually, that's what the debate is about, and then and then you have the antithesis, where you go into the upside down worldview or or world from from what you're used to. Yeah, and then uh, you have the B story, which is the love story, and the but fun and games, which are the heart of the movie, <laughs> and then the midpoint, and the bad guys close in Dark Knight. Of the, sorry, all is lost, Dark Knight of the Soul, and then. Uh, the synthesis. Oh. 
Thank you for checking out this clip from the Cave of Apelles. If you want to see the entire segment, become a $5 patron at patreon.com slash and access all our Dark Flame videos, masterclasses, and bonus material with our guests.